It's almost more than we can believe and more than we've been allowed to believe in Hawaii in a long time. The reality is in energy of all of them, we could actually lead the world. We've got to solve our problems and our problems that we have here in Hawaii as it pertains to energy are unique to Hawaii. We're not going to get solutions made for our little market here unless we make them ourselves. Now that is the potential. As a Hawaiian today, practicing Malama Aina means I acknowledge that we are facing an energy crisis. I acknowledge that I am part of it by consuming fossil fuel. When I took command, I said, okay, I found out what our electric bill was. It was $23, $24 million the first year, and it scared me because it's about a third of our, of our budget, and that just goes to pay the electric bill. Most of that money doesn't actually go to HECO. 80% of the money we pay for our electric bill just goes to somebody to pull oil out of the ground. It's about realizing that we have control over this. It's about realizing that there is a very real-term problem that we face today. You know, depending on who you ask, we're either past, at, or just about ready to cross peak oil. And what peak oil is, is a situation where we will never pump more oil than we have pumped out of the earth. Now, the fact of the matter is, once we have, you know, once we recognize that we passed that, the reality is prices will just keep going up. You know, we're actually not the most addicted to fossil fuel. There are actually mainland states that are 98% coal. You know, and that's almost a trap because coal is so cheap that states like that look at renewable energy and they go, why would I do that? We're on oil, which is an expensive form of fossil fuel. So that's the bad news. The good news is almost any form of renewable energy works okay against oil. And if it's not today, it will within five or 10 years for sure. So our transition to renewable energy actually ultimately saves us money. As a people, we will be better off financially when we switch to renewable energy. When you ask me what has changed, well, a great deal has changed. We now have new business models so that we can work with Native communities in ways that respect their human rights. To think about the future, I reflect back on our past. Looking back, uh, some of the lessons learned is that we need to have brave and bold leadership in policy that will implement new policy and stick to their guns on those policies because that, in my mind, is one of the biggest reasons why we never got there with the original Hawaii Clean Energy Plan. I think personally DOD and the Marine Corps especially is leading the way with the entire nation. Uh, we're on board and we understand the importance of it. We understand how it's actually tied to national security. I kind of joke to people and say, I don't have to run for office so I can make some of the rules as we're going along. But, but, but I'm backed by presidential executive orders. I'm backed by uh, things that the Secretary of the Navy wants us to do, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, uh, the whole federal government to drive energy usage down. You know, this is a group that came together for that specific purpose back in the, if I remember correctly, back in the early 2000 time frame. And at that time, you know, we were all pretty much fighting with each other, whether it be the gas company, the utility, the electric utility, uh, different industry sectors, even mine. Uh, and we were all just kind of thinking, quite frankly, a little selfishly. And the forum provided this clearinghouse for us to get together, hear everyone's thoughts, uh, you know, voice our own. Uh, and understand, you know, that, hey, we are really trying to fight for the same thing. Keep to our belief system of Aloha Aina, but be flexible enough, for goodness sakes, to inform ourselves and work with others for solutions for our broader community. It's doing the right thing by the federal taxpayers. It's doing the right thing by the environment. It's a national security issue as well. If we share well among ourselves, we will be okay. In fact, we will be the envy of the world. We need to share. Uh, and sharing is two-way, and it's respectful, and it's, and it's done with great heart between people. And we, we have to find that way, too. It's not just take. Share is, is a gift. Uh, and we need, to, we need to encourage that gift and then honor that gift. From the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum and Hawaii News Now, Join Terry Okita for the first in a continuing series of programs, Hawaii, the State of Clean Energy, premiering next month on KGMB and KHNL.